On September 1st, due to the heavy rainfall and upstream flooding, the end of the spillway of Uping Hydropower Station was destroyed. The washout pit has an area of about 1,500 square meters, with a maximum depth of 15 meters. The retaining wall on the right bank of the spillway collapsed and caved in. The reservoir dam is safe, but the spillway cannot release flood water normally. This hydropower station is located in Zhuxi County, Hubei Province. To avoid danger, the local government immediately organized emergency repairs. At the same time, a total of 5,456 people from 15 villages downstream were transferred. According to local media reports, on the afternoon of September 5th, after four days of intensive repairs, the washout pit at the bottom of the dam had been filled with welded steel plate and concrete. Construction workers and mechanical equipment were all evacuated by 7:30 p.m. At 8:30 p.m., one of the three spillway gates had been opened to discharge flood water at a flow rate of 30 cubic meters per second. At the same time, affected by a new round of heavy rainfall upstream, in order to cope with the incoming water, Oping Reservoir will also increase the discharge flow rate to 50 cubic meters, 100 cubic meters, or even to the highest rate of 200 cubic meters per second. In addition, several hydropower stations downstream have also increased their discharge flow rates to cope with this new round of flooding from Oping Reservoir. The reservoir has a total storage capacity of 296 million cubic meters. It is a large-scale water conservancy project that is mainly for power generation and has comprehensive functions such as flood control, irrigation, water supply, and aquaculture. Oping Hydropower Station is located upstream of the Duhe River. And about 70 kilometers downstream is Panko Hydropower Station, whose reservoir covers a water area of 61 square kilometers, with a total storage capacity of 2.34 billion cubic meters. About 87 kilometers downstream from the Panko Reservoir, the Duhe River joins the Hanjiang River in Yunyang District of Shiyan City, and 120 kilometers downstream from there is the Danjiangko Reservoir. Which has a water area of over 1,000 square kilometers, with a storage capacity of 29.05 billion cubic meters. The Danjiangko Reservoir is also the water source of the central line for the South North Water Transfer Project. Oping Reservoir and Panko Reservoir are located in the Daba Mountains. Both sides of the rivers are steep, and the riverbeds have a large drop along with the water flow. Once the dam of Oping Reservoir collapses, the water is bound to rush rapidly downstream to Panko Reservoir. If the Panko Dam breaks, more than two billion cubic meters of water will continue downstream to the Danjiangko Reservoir, and if that breaks, more than 30 billion cubic meters of water will cause enormous damage to the downstream cities of Laohekou, Xiangyang, Jingzhou, and Wuhan. Even people living in the other areas along the downstream of Yangtze River will be affected. This effect is known as the dam break domino effect, or simply snowball effect. On the afternoon of September 3rd, Danjiangko Water Conservancy Project Management Bureau held a video conference for flood control, and conducted a special study on the current flood control situation of Panko Reservoir, and scheduled the next stage of reservoir operations. According to the official WeChat account of the bureau, after the last round of heavy rainfall and flood discharge. The end of the spillway chute of the Eoping Reservoir was damaged by flood. According to meteorological forecasts, the Duhe River basin will usher in a new round of heavy rainfall in the next few days, and the Panko Reservoir will have a significant flooding process again. The flood control situation of the reservoir will be severe. According to the official media of Zhuxi County, Eoping Hydropower Station mainly consists of four parts: a barrage dam, a power generation tunnel. A spillway and a power plant. The dam is designed as a reinforced concrete face rock fill dam with a height of 124.3 meters. The power plant is designed to generate nearly 300 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year with three generating units. The project is developed by Wuhan Hongling Group, a private enterprise, designed by Hubei Water Conservancy and Hydropower Survey and Design Institute, constructed by Sino Hydro Bureau Company One. And supervised by Beijing Huayuan Company, the construction of Eoping Project was started on August 25, 2002. At the end of 2005, the gate chamber of the spillway and the spillway floor surface were poured. Two generating units were put into production in April and June of 2006, respectively. However, since October 2006, the construction of Eoping Project was forced to stop due to the capital chain rupture of Hongling Group. 
Subsequently, the adjustment of the national industrial policy, the price increase of engineering materials, and other factors, Hongling could not get the follow-up funds and could not repay the principal and interest of their loan. As a result, a series of chain reactions were triggered. In early 2007, Hongling Group was unable to repay more than 300 million yuan in loans. In November 2007, the Hubei branch of China Development Bank filed a lawsuit against Honglin, and the Hubei Provincial Higher People's Court made a judgment on December 13. According to official media reports in 2010, Honglin Group was once the largest private hydropower group in Hubei. Its business scope covers various fields, such as hydropower development and automobiles. However, due to blindly borrowing money to expand, their capital chain broke. According to the judge for the Honglin case of the Hubei Provincial Higher Court, Honglin Group turned to private loans after being unable to obtain loans from banks. The mismanagement eventually caused the company trouble. In August 2009, the overall assets of Eping Power Station were auctioned by the Hubei Provincial Higher People's Court. In the end, China Guodian Corporation's Huazhong branch obtained the main assets of Eping for 960 million yuan. On November 18, the construction of the final phase of Eping started. On May 31, 2011, Eping was officially connected to the grid for power generation, which marked the completion of the main project of the hydropower station. Here comes the question. The Eping hydropower station has only been in operation for 15 years. So how did the spillway get destroyed? and the retaining wall on the right bank collapse. Is this another typical tofu drag project of China? From an article published in the fourth issue of the 2007 academic journal Water Conservancy and Hydropower Engineering Costs, we may be able to find the answer to this question. The title of the article is Analysis of Reasons for Eping Hydropower Stations Over Budget. The author is Xie Qing from the design company of Eping Project. The article analyzed the reasons for project over budget from four aspects, including geological conditions, construction activities, construction management, and national policies, as well as suggested solutions. The article wrote, Eping Hydropower Project is located at the intersection of Qingfeng Fault and Ankang Fault. The seismic intensity is 7 degrees. The rocks are sandy and argillaceous slate. The geological conditions are complicated. The rock weathering is serious, and the stability of the rock body is poor. The spillway sits on the intersection of the two faults, and the rocks are severely weathered. This shows that the spillway is not properly sited, causing future problems. During the early stages of construction, the laboratory sampling test results show that the slag of sand and gravel aggregate was not discarded as designed, which caused large-scale pollution and excessive mud content. After consultation with the owner, design, and supervision companies, the aggregate material source was relocated. During excavation, the inlet axis of the inflow tunnel deviated from the design axis, and this unstable rock body was not supported, causing collapse after entering the tunnel. The excavation encountered carbonaceous slate, and the rock has extremely low compressive strength. Although supported by section steel, the tunnel roof collapsed as high as 12 meters. Accidents had occurred during the excavation phase, and the rock body has poor integrity and low strength, but the rock body has not been reinforced. According to the design documents, the Eping Hydropower Project has a construction period of four years. However, with the joint efforts of the owner, construction company, supervision, and design companies, the four major components of the project have been nearly completed in two years. Regarding the project management, the article states, Designers should pay great attention to information and data collection before designing, such as hydrological, geotechnical conditions, site surrounding environmental settings, topography, and building materials, and strive to increase the depth of design work. The construction company must strictly adopt the bidding system and select the best construction team. It is necessary to carefully select the supervision company and establish effective supervision guidelines. Supervising engineers should increase their sense of responsibility. On-site supervising engineers should be on-site during construction, identify and solve problems promptly, and should seriously investigate and deal with dereliction of duty in project supervision. The management personnel of the owner lacks expertise and experience, and is irresponsible. The government should standardize administrative actions in investment and construction. The government should act in accordance with regulations, and not violate the design documents. Xie Qing's article successfully put forth the common characteristics of some of China's large-scale infrastructure projects. 
That is why it is not surprising to see tofu drake projects frequently appear in China.